Okay, now the registry. Uh, have you ever uh, uh, modified the registry registry key? Okay, right. So you are familiar with it, right? So in the registry a key, there's like a two types. One the system wise, so you fix one uh, modify one registry that affects all the system uh, system wise. Mean you you know if there is like a multiple users, one change one change changes in this system wise registry key, we're gonna affect all the users and then the system itself. And per user setting, it only affects one particular uh, user. One of the examples is a win, let's say if there's a login for, uh, there's a win logon uh, registry key that belongs to win logon. That means when a user logs in, then certain uh, fi uh, files can execute it. So it can be different between you know, user one and user two. Right, so here we are going to use a reg edit to see how these registry keys are consist of. And how about, let's do this, rather than me reading through this slide. So we are at slide 29, right? I'm going to switch over to VM. I am at the 29, okay, and I'm going to close all the windows in the VM. And start, and you see it run, and please type rec edit. I'll go back, start, run, reg, edit, R-E-G, -R and edit, reg, edit, and please press OK, and I'm going to explain uh, slide 29, so you see this five uh, root registry keys, right? And as you see at the GUI, the key is nothing but this container in the uh, registry key. And one thing that I uh, trick, uh, not trick, I don't know how to say, it. Well, it is not trick, how to say what's the word for it? I'm you know, doing so, way certain things. <laughs> you know, the way how, how to traverse the uh, reg edit is when you press the arrow button up and down, then you see this highlight is getting different. I just want you to get uh, familiar with uh, how to traverse in the reg edit. And when you click right arrow key, you're gonna open to that registry key. You see? And then also when you press left arrow key, then you're gonna close that registry key. So it's much faster uh, moving around this way. So you can use these four arrow keys. So now let's go one by one. So uh, the H key classes, it is uh, related to is a, the, a com, like the component object model. The uh, Microsoft uh, COM model is related, uh, include keys uh, related to COM models. And example can be prop ID and what was that? The uh, CLS ID that is actually related to ActiveX uh, object. So when there's an ActiveX object, then it has its own prop ID and CLS ID, and those informations are stored underneath this uh, registry uh, root key. Okay, and another one is a uh, H key current user that is a registry key related to the, the currently logged in uh, user, and then it, uh, any data associated with the, the data uh, user, and HK key local machine is a system-wise hardware configuration related to the information are stored underneath this registry key. And this one also, uh, from the following like a slide, you will see it as an acronym HKLM, okay? This one. And HK users, it includes any data associated with all the users underneath this one. And 
current config, HK current config is the one that uh, hardware related to hardware profile. And one thing we want to uh, know is here, this HK current user actually is nothing but a link. It's a link to, oh, I move to uh, slide 30. So in the registry registry key, there's like a various types. Again, it can be string, it can be a double word, or it can be like a binary. And one of, one of another like type is a registry link. But uh, why if when you just look at this regist, uh, registry editor, you don't see which one is a link or not. Actually, though that information is not here. And I looked up, you know, if there's a tool that you can identify, hey, this registry key's type is actually link. And when I searched it, which is more than a year ago, I couldn't find anything. Maybe somebody maybe made a tool after that, I don't know. But, you know, what I want to mention is here, like a uh, user, this one's a link. And current config, also this one's just a link. The key itself is does not actually have an actual uh, Values underneath, and but this HKLM, the local machine, this one is not a link. It has actually value underneath, and same as a uh, uh, HK users. And why I even mentioning this one is uh, because some later on you're gonna see some like a registry uh, dipping tools. You wanna show like you know some. Uh, you wanna show. Sometimes, like some tool uses a HK uh, current user, HK uh, CU, or sometimes it shows as your actual, you know, path. So, but you you gonna just need to realize that there, you know, some keys are, you know, the path are actually the same uh, location. Okay, that's what I want to mention. And another one, when you go to current config, I move the arrow key up and down. And went to the HK CC current, uh, current configuration. No, sorry. Actually, I'm not supposed to go there. I want to go HK LM, and I pressed right arrow. And when you see here, I'm uh, there's a system. So I'm moving again. Okay, just keep repeating uh, for bad four and then open for class here. So I'm only using the arrow key here. So moving up and down is a system. At the system, I press right button, then it has expanded here, right? And when you see this current control set, it is also uh, just a link to one of these control set 001 or control set 003. It actually just uh, contains the system's you know, status, you know, a configuration related to a certain you know status but why it has two is because if there is a failure and your system doesn't boot at all then you can just restore just one of these uh, set which is known to be good and how you know how you define it is like when you go to sell select I mean moving around with only arrow key select has like a last known good right it has a zero a value three. That means control set is zero zero three is the one that is good. So if the system doesn't boot, and you can try to you know uh, set this current control set to the current uh, control set zero zero three. Okay. And okay, I am still at the slide thirty and registry hive. Have you heard, the, heard about the registry hive? Okay. I explained about the, the registry hive. I was actually based on the, there's a Windows internal book that is uh, written by three people, but uh, the Mark, what is that? I, I should not try to uh, pronounce this uh, last name, but the Mark, Rosinovich, yes, yes. So, yes, he's a very, very famous per a person, basically, who knows of, uh, about the windows from the top to bottom, basically. But, so, but there is a one uh, small section or the paragraph it talks about the registry hive, 
and my understanding was okay hive is about where it is stored okay so that's why i just looked at it and then made a slide but yesterday i was searching for the the windows and the windows nt the registry key was the difference why they are just separate you know key trees and while i'm searching it i found it actually msdn because they, they are the official usually msdn published some in the document there since they are the official and i found that actually I found the okay, I will explain this one first. I found that uh, the MSDN explained okay, registry hive is a uh, logical group of the keys and sub keys and the values when and which has the uh, the, and the supporting files to store those information on the you know, on the disk. Right? That's actually uh, their official uh, definition. But you know, actually, in addition to the, to that. Uh, they also indicate as a uh, you know this HKLM hardware. Actually, that one is not supported by uh, files, but that's still is a high. That's, that's right. That's right. right. But still, it is a high. That means it's literally really more focusing part is is you know high is a local group of, in a logical group of keys, sub keys, and values in registry that is basically maintained by a you know certain storage. I would you know, define in that way, kind of, you know, with some flexibility, right? Because hardware, you know, LKLM hardware does not have a supporting files, but still it is a hive, right? So I, I wanted to correct that part. And yes, the uh, hardware is in a volatile, vol volatile hive. When you go, when you open Explore, I usually just go right click and Explore, right? When you go there, and I will just type the path, um, the Windows System 32 config. When you go this directory, do you see same file? There is a path. Right? And there's a same file, right? So registry key that is belongs to this uh, node, the registry key node here, is actually stored file here, right? So anyone see this one same? Right? So for some registry keys actually in the file or some for example was a hklm hardware they can be you know, slightly you can change it you know when you reboot or when you plug in like a uh, usb device so those kind of uh, the hardware information since it can change on the, on the runtime so it is not actually stored in the file but it's stored in the memory okay any questions so far we are at the uh, okay checking the registry so okay another small example is I will, I will open the reg, uh, edit again so okay the with I am at the slide 31 so I just mentioned this HKCU, the current user, it is a link, right? So for this exercise, I want want you to um, hold on a second. Okay, I may skip that one. Hold on a second. Just say, how how you know the ID of the current user? So when you look at the slide thirty, it said HKCU is a link to HK users. And security ID, right? You see that one? It's the slide 30, right under this red underscore link. So for this uh, exercise, I want you to uh, check this one is linked to one of these, right? 
the security ID. But actually, unfortunately, this VM has only one user, right? It's not that fun, but if you have multiple users, then you can be more, you know, uh, better. But still, let's uh, do it here. So for here, I, I am back to slide 31. And let's start a DOS pump run and put CMD start run CMD okay and I want to move to C directly and underneath uh, C there's a sys internal tool so you can put sys internal and tap when you uh, can see that directory and change the directory to this internal suite and okay and you will see ps get sid i just press psg and tap right and put the student this is a user id another user id username and enter agree then now you see the security id of the student right you see that one so uh this uh this internal tool uh, the suite as co comes with very uh, uh, a lot of tools so it, it is actually use, very useful so as you see when you run the ps get sid it give you uh, ID that start with the S and with a 1006. Then now you know this current user is actually a link to this one. Okay. So if it is much more actually more better if you have a uh, multiple users, but I think still is okay. Just I want you to uh, want you to know that there is a like, this, uh, various tools. So another thing is before you develop your own tool. Hopefully, there's somebody else mostly already made it. All right, and another the tool you you can use is Nerd Soap has like a, a lot of tools that are very similar to CC internal tool, but sometimes better. Uh, I get, so you can just check out other tools that uh, with the web uh, tools that Nerd Soap makes. All right, and. Let's see. I kind of think we're gonna stop at the, the middle of services. Let's go. Uh, all right. I wanna close it for now here. And 